kind of disbelief. I think everybody in the mountain climbing community, uh, even beyond Glacier Mountaineering Society, has um, commented about how how difficult it is to to uh, to lose somebody of that caliber on on a climb. The mountaineering community in Northwest Montana are mourning the loss of two well-known, highly respected climbers who passed away in a terrible accident on Dusty Star Mountain in Glacier National Park. They were both very accomplished uh, mountaineers. As far as climbing in Glacier is concerned, they've climbed um, uh, some of the most technical, difficult peaks in, in the park. Mountaineering enthusiast Ralph Thornton connected with Jack and Brian through Glacier Mountaineering Society, a group of people interested in outdoor mountaineering in Northwest Montana. That's probably the biggest value is, is meeting other people and, and enjoying the camaraderie of the mountain environment. Ralph says Jack and Brian were a great team together with a long history of tough climbs spanning decades. They were attempting to, to do a more technical route on the mountain, which uh, is where they fell. The Glacier County Sheriff's Office says Jack and Brian likely suffered a fall between 800 to 900 feet. The cause of the fall is still under investigation. We don't know whether they were ascending still or whether they had reached the summit and were coming back down. Uh, a fall of that nature could happen in either one of those uh, instances. Swan Lake resident Al Hoffmeister climbed dozens of peaks with Jack and Brian over the years. He says both men always gave back to the climbing community, mentoring young climbers, passing along their knowledge. Their web is, is huge. Uh, they had so many contacts because of their willingness to share that joy with everyone. Ralph says it's still hard to fathom the loss. He had spent three days in the backcountry with Brian just a week before the accident. Uh, we had a great backpacking trip and lots of good conversation around the cooking area in the evening. And uh, to then just a week later find that he has passed in, in this terrible way is tremendous shock. In Kalispell, Sean Wells, MTA News.